Welcome back everyone, it is Eric from Rare Candy, and today we are checking out the Magikarp deck that the Pokemon Go set recently gave us, featuring that Magikarp here with the Raging Fin attack that does 10 plus 30 for each Magikarp and Gyarados in your discard pile but not probably in the way that you're thinking. Today we're gonna be trying out Magikarp in the expanded format where I think this deck is substantially better. In standard, it's like, yeah, it's kind of okay, but definitely kind of flopped a little bit, no pun intended. Uh, but expand this deck is way stronger. But before we dive into the nuts and bolts of this deck and jump in some games, if you guys can't remember to leave a like on this video to help feed that YouTube algorithm. And if you need any cards to complete this Magikarp deck for yourself, you can check out our friends over at ptcgostore.com. And you can use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to get yourselves a discount on your order. And also Rare Candy's patrons not only had early access to this deck list weeks ago, but also have their own exclusive discount code for even bigger savings. Links to those will be down below in the description. Well, let's jump back into our deck list for a moment. So as I mentioned, of course, we have our Magikarps. It's going to be one of our main attackers, but we really want these in the discard pile. And instead, Ditto is going to be our primary attacker in the deck with that sudden transformation ability that will allow us to copy the attacks of our Magikarps. So if we have every Magikarp and every Gyarados in our discard pile, we're capping out at 250. So, you know, a little bit shy of where we want to be. But thanks to a couple of cards, of course, uh, like Choice Belt to hit that magic 280 number against a lot of Pokemon V-Stars, and also Choice Belt to hit that magic 280 number against a lot of the Pokemon GX tag teams that are running around. Now we can pretty much make quick work of anything that gets in our way. And from time to time, if we have already gone through our Choice Belts, we also have access to Leon as another way of getting that additional 30 damage buff. But what makes Magikarp, and I think this deck so good and expanded, of course, is that we have access to Battle Compressor. So of course we search our deck for three cards, discard them. So on turn one, it's actually pretty easy to get almost all, if not all of your Magikarps and Gyarados in your discard pile and hit for 280 damage. It happens kind of frequently, which makes this deck, I think, a bit better and expanded. Uh, but speaking of Gyarados, we are actually choosing to play the Gyarados here. I believe it's back from Burning Shadows. Very intentional uh, choice I've made here. It has the Venting Anger attack. It is 50 for each Magikarp in your discard pile. Now, most of the time, we don't want to evolve into Gyarados, but uh, if we do run into something like the Vile Plume that's in Burning Shadows that prevents our basics from attacking, uh, Gyarados, or this Gyarados, could allow us an out against those sorts of locking decks out there. But most of the time, we're just trying to discard this guy. So of course we also have our Crobat Dedenne to dig through our deck. Uh, we also have a Rain Groove with that Instruct ability to allow us to refill our hand up to three. Just makes us a little bit more end proof, a little bit more Marnie proof in the late game. And just as another way we can keep digging. So we have a ton of uh, trainer cards as you can see. I'm not gonna spend too much time on each of these, uh, but Special Charge, great card and expand it, allows us to get back special energies. We have the Hisuian Heavy Ball, of course, to fish some of those prize Magikarps potentially out of our prizes. But we also have a copy of Town Map, which uh, seems, you know, like it overlaps a little bit with Hisui and Heavy Ball, but we turn all of our prize cards face up. Now we do have to be careful because if we use this, we actually can't play Hisui and Heavy Ball afterwards. But the reason we have Town Map in the deck, in addition to the Heavy Ball, is because Heavy Ball won't actually allow us to get Gyarados we prize any. Whereas with Town Map, we can see where Gyarados is in our prizes, then fish it out, no pun intended. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on a roll with these fish puns today, I feel like. Uh, whenever we do take a KO. Uh, we have the Pokemon Ranger. This is going to allow us to get through some of those item locking and special energy locking attacks that are pretty common in the uh, expanded format. We have our copies of Field Blower. This is going to mainly to get rid of cards like Silent Lab or the uh, tool cards that might be on your opponents, Garbotox and Garboders. Those are going to be really annoying cards that shut off our ability on Ditto, which is going to be, of course, pretty important for our deck. Uh, let's see, we have our one random copy of Scoop Up Net. So, of course, you know, this seems not too great at a glance, but if we do start with a Magic Heart, and we want to discard it for a little bit extra damage, we can easily scoop up net it uh, back up into our hand and pitch it away with something else. Uh, for our A spec of choice, as you can see, we are running Dowsing Machine. I think you could opt to run something like Computer Search, definitely makes sense, but we play a ton of one ofs in this list, so I like the added flexibility uh, that we have with Dowsing Machine to have a stronger late game uh, with this card. Um, but other than that, guys, I think most of the rest of this list is going to be relatively straightforward. So let's go ahead, hop in some games and show you how this Magikarp deck is a good bit better and expanded than it is in standard. 
Okay, so we won the coin flip. That's definitely good. So we absolutely want to go second here. Going second is, for a deck like this especially, is so much better in Expanded. So that actually would have been pretty good hand if we had opened with a Ditto or a Magikarp, but we were not quite so fortunate. Okay, this is still workable. Uh, you know, kind of sucks opening with Magikarp, but uh, we got Research, we got Ultra Ball, so we got some good things going here. We have Parallel as well, which kind of sucks to get rid of. Oh, but they're playing Bronzor. Okay, so there is a world where this could be a sketchy matchup for us because this guy can evolve immediately. And they could do some shenanigans with like Dialga V-Star and Dialga GX. So maybe they're playing like, trying to play like the giant wombo combo deck where you get an extra turn with Dialga GX, extra turn with Dialga V-Star, and then with Metacham V at some point too. Uh, so very curious to, to see how this one actually unfolds. Should be a fun matchup. I've yet to actually play against this thing on uh, the expanded ladder, so be very curious to see how this one goes. Okay, Crobat, that's cool. Definitely don't mind any low pry, or I'm sorry, low HP multi prizers. Uh, there's gonna be Max Elixir, okay. So between Max Elixir and Metal Saucer, they actually can get Dialga powered up like pretty easily. So of course, Max Elixir, if you guys aren't familiar with this and expand it, you look at the top six cards of your deck and accelerate energy that you find there to one of your bench basic Pokemon. Okay, but they have this Ossian, so it looks like they're going to be gearing up for an Intrepid Sword. It makes sense. Two Metals in the bin, definitely a good Ultra Ball. So now they can just Metal Saucer both of those right out, which sucks for us. But <laughs> so they are really just blowing through their deck here. So are they going to harder treat Bronzor? That's the next question. An escape room. All right. Going to feed us to Dene. I'm kind of cool with that. So this actually could be a good turn to use Parallel, even though it does reduce our own damage. Let's see. We need five Pokemon. If we do this, we'll need six Magikarps or Gyarados in discard pile to, to get the knockout. Um... I think it's maybe still worth, but they, they they might get rid of their Crobat, which we actually do want in play as well. Um, I don't know. I think we're gonna we're gonna go for the parallel here. Actually, we can blower the parallel if we don't want the damage reduction too. So that we still do have that as an option for us, guys. So they get rid of the Crobat, but then probably this Bronzor. Or the Zacian. I kind of hope they keep the Zacian, though. Makes sense. Okay. So I think we just grab Gyarados. So we can discard it here. Like, I kind of want to get rid of the parallel, but I think we're going to get greedy, guys, and just try to be as aggressive as possible. Because I really want to keep their bench limited, so that's good. All right, before we do anything else, we will Trainer's Mail. Compressor, okay. Liking this, liking this, absolutely. We'll do this. We already researched. Do we want to escape or if that's the next question? Well, we could and get a knockout on. Hmm. Trying to think. You know, I think we're just going to dead A change this hand. Like, we could attack with Ditto, but at the same time, I do want Magikarp discarded. Hmm.
Actually, we'll say sure to the escape room. Sorry, guys. Not sure how I want to approach this, but if they give us... They were really set on preserving one of these Bronzors in play. And Dedenne will be there later for us to, to knock out if we do need to. How many blowers are we down? Okay, so we can blower this float soon if we do need to at some point too. So let's do this. I mean, do we want to put down a multi prizer though? That's the other question. So maybe we'll just go for the instruct here. Because we don't want them taking a multi prize knockout with Kronos V Star. I think it's the V Star power name. Um, so I'd rather just not bench any multi prizers until we absolutely have to for some reason. And I don't think we need to do anything else with this hand. So I think we're cool with this. And we'll just go for the Raging Fin for the KO on Bronzor. So kind of an awkward turn. Uh, again, guys, too, this is my first time playing against the Dialga deck. So I'm not sure, like, what the best course of action is. I don't know if they're using the Bronzong that accelerates energy from this card. And I also don't know if they're using the Bronzong that moves energy. Or maybe it's both. I'm not sure. I just don't know how to... Okay, so they, it is the one that moves energy. That's why I was I was debating, do we knock out the Dene? Do we try to knock out a Bronze? Or I didn't know how they were going to approach that. So there is definitely a world where we can get Kronos V-starred, which would be really, really bad. So we'll see, though. So what are they going to get with this quick ball? That's the next question. Probably another Dialga or Dialga GX. Either of those could work. Okay, it's going to be Zacian V. So maybe they're not actually... Okay, they're going to go for Sycamore. I'm assuming they're playing Dialga GX in here, though. And that would seem better. But maybe they're planning on not attacking with Dialga V or V-Star this turn. Okay, Skyfield. That's fine. Uh, we still have our... Yeah, we have our other stadium, so we can bump that if need be at some point. Okay, so they are going all in with these Bronzors. So this makes me think they're playing a combination of this Bronze Song and the one that accelerates energy. That's the vibe I'm getting here. So there is also a world where we could potentially dowsing machine to get our parallel back at some point too but they would i don't know how impactful that would be at this point though so they need one more energy plus the evolution if they do want to use the v-star power okay but it looks like they're gonna go in for a brave blade which i'm kind of cool with they will lose a good bit of energy if they do that assuming we get the return ko which i think is kind of likely All right, so they are going to put Magikarp in discard, so we're doing, what, 160 right now? So we need two more in the discard if we want to get the KO on Zacian. So sure, we'll do this. That's pretty good. Uh, before we do anything else, I think we'll Trainer's Mail, though. Okay, awesome. So we can get... Yeah, we can just get Research. That'll be fine. And we could just grab Magikarp and discard it. Um, that seems okay to me, just to guarantee what we need. And kind of live with that. At the same time, I do want another Ditto in play, though. Yeah, let's do it. Because I kind of wanted to keep this Ditto as a pivot in play. But it's fine. Okay, and we do hit another ditto. That's good. Burn the heavy ball. 
Yeah, nothing. Ooh, we did prize our swell and two energy. Prizing two energy is kind of relevant here. Um, so a quick ball, get rid of Gyarados. Grab another Ditto. Trainer's Mail. Compressor. Actually, might just want to go for Reverse Seeker, if I'm being honest, guys. Um... Okay, yeah, we have all of those guys in there at this point, so that seems pretty good to me, I think. Yeah, I'm cool with that. And at this point, we'll just go for the Raging Fin for the Knockout on Zacian V, and we're feeling pretty good. We've managed to dodge the uh, the V-Star Power last turn, which is definitely huge for us. Double Turbo, or not Double Turbo, Double Colors. And a Compressor. Compressor actually good here, too, because if we do have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a V-Star, we could even Compressor for Leon. But we also could just teammates for Belt, too, if we need to. So I think right now, as long as our hand doesn't get disrupted, we're feeling pretty good. But there definitely is a world where our opponent can do like a big turn where they use their V-Star power, knock us out, get another turn, rock Sanus. Oh, God, they're playing Bronze on Break. Okay, now this is a little bit scary for us because it has Metal Rain. You discard as many Metal Energies as you want from your Pokemon and just 30 for each one you discard, but you can use, you can target down the same Pokemon more than once. So there is a world where they could knock out like multiple Dittos in the same turn, which would be horrific for us. So this guy actually is a bit of a threat if they are able to get some excess uh, metals, Metal metal Energies into play. Uh, and this could also set up some math for Metacham if they're playing the Metacham. Again, I'm still assuming this whole time we are going against a Dialga deck that's playing the Dialga GX and the Metacham V to like try to steal as many extra turns as possible. But we just took out three energy from play with that Zossian. That feels pretty good. Uh, they need two more energies in the play plus the evolution if they do want to pull off their V-Star power. So they're going to get, I think that's a second Guzma down. We've not seen any Versus Seekers be used just yet, but there's going to be Tapali with GX. So let's see what they're going to get here. Uh, if they're playing Jasmine, that could guarantee them. Okay, there's going to be the end. That feels kind of bad, though, because this was a pretty sick hand. I'm not going to lie. Um, is what it is, though. And we have our Oranger in play, so we, we're not totally screwed. Okay. So... If we have to, if we have to, we can bench a Dedenne GX or a Crobat V and bail us out of this hand, but. Okay, there's gonna be a Dedenne. Okay, they're gonna draw like almost their whole deck. So um, I feel like we're gonna win this one unless they have like a rescue stretcher or something like that to put more cards back into their deck. They've already played one. Do they play another one? They could play a Super Rod. That's definitely an option or an ordinary rod. So there, there is a way they can hang in there. Okay, there's gonna be Metal Saucer. Do they have another energy? Oh, we see the Heartbreak. They might have whiffed, guys. How many saucers is that down? Just two. Okay, Metal Transfer. Did they use the ability on this Bronze Zone? Because this is the one that does accelerate energy. So if they haven't used this, they they have the V-Star power ready to go. And just the Metal Blast. So guys, I think we have this one wrapped up because I think it's pretty likely we can actually dig super hard to knock this guy out. Okay, Crobat, that's cool too. So let's just go ahead and probably get rid of the Guzma. That's fine. Um, I think we'll grab the Dene preemptively. We'll get down Band over here. Crobat. That way we can keep the Dedenne if we whip what we need. Okay, and we have the Belt as well. I don't think there's much we really want to get rid of here, but uh, let's take a look through our deck. How many... We have one Verse Seeker left, so... I might just leave the Leon, if I'm being honest, guys. Uh, we'll get rid of N. What else do we not need at this point? Probably Compressors. For just being honest. I might save one just in case we hit a Versus Seeker. It might still be nice to have the option. Um, and yeah, maybe get rid of Research at this point. 
so we definitely do this. And right, that's... I don't know what else we would really want at this point, so... Sure, let's just dead A change. I don't think having this in play really does much for them at this point. So let's just go ahead and blow her. So definitely get rid of the Floatstone and the Skyfield. And just let me double check my math here, but I'm pretty sure we have this KO, right? Because we have all four of these, so, so eight times three. Yeah, so with the belt, that is going to be the knockout on the Dialga V-Star here. So we'll just go for the Raging Fin. And now I don't really see how we can lose this one. We took out all of our opponent's energy. They have zero cards left in their deck after this turn. Can they take, what, four prizes in a single turn? They would need to knock out Crobat and Dedenne, uh with Bronze on Break. I don't see that happening, so <laughs> I, I think we managed to, to seal this one up, though. Moment of truth. What do you have, my friend? Okay, versus Seeker. Um, is there something weird that could happen that I can't think of? They could play N. Oh, yeah, they could play N. They could play Research. Or I'm sorry, they could Marnie. And we get the victory screen. So yeah, they, they really, in their defense, they had a hard time getting the V-Star power going. But again, very surprised we didn't see the Dialga GX at any point. I thought for sure we would see that as well, but Hey, we will happily take the dub against the Origin Dalga V-Star deck. Okay, so our opponent's going to force us to go first, which definitely makes sense. Expanded format, that's like usually by far and away the best idea. Um, we can still get set up a little bit, so that is like the upside to all of this. Uh, we'll leave with Magikarp. If it does get knocked out, it's fine. Uh, fuels our attacks, so just curious what we're going to be going up against for, for this. Okay, so this makes me think it's going to be like the Meloetta deck. I'm just going to go ahead and his Suing Heavy Ball kick things off. And we do have a Magikarp prize, so pretty stoked we are able to get that out. Uh, so we'll get down to Ranguru. Uh, we will toss away Gyarados here. Question is, do we... Hmm... Do we try to live off of Instruct? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say we're gonna go for Crobat here. I don't know if I want multi-prizers in play. That's my that's my big reservation. I think we can live with one Crobat though. And I think it's actually safe to bench these match cards because, again, I'm assuming this is going to be the Genesect Meloetta deck. Okay, that's cool. So we got the, re the compressor, so we'll toss away these two guys. Uh, actually, in case we do have to attack with Ditto, we'll do another match card. And I think we'll just do research. That seems pretty good to me. Or even teammate seems good, too. Kind of cool going for teammates, in all honesty. But if they don't KO us, then this gets a lot worse. So I think I think we'll just go for research, be safe. And we'll just pass our opponent. So this definitely would have been a good hand going second. We definitely could have, you know, dug very aggressively to reach that KO on Genesect, but it is what it is. So yeah, so far it looks like the Genesect Meloetta deck. No, I'm assuming no Mu V Max or anything like that. They're probably just going to attack with Meloetta, uh, just with that Melodious Echo attack. But that's fine with me. Meloetta, I think this deck is this deck is pretty good going against other multi prize decks. But I think we might be slightly favored since they're always going to have uh, multiple multi prizes in play, and we're we're hoping to never have to put more than one if possible. Okay, power tablets, that's fine. Uh, just hoping. Okay, Dimension Valley. So they actually, well, they need at least a sparkle still. Oh, but they're playing custom catchers, so they're probably going for Crobat here. That's 
that's kind of bad for us, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Okay, but luckily we do have Field Blower, so we can get rid of their D-Valley and their Floatstones. Of course, D-Valley, if you guys aren't familiar with it, uh, reduces their attack cost by one for their Psychic Pokemon. So if they do Elisa Sparkle, they can put uh, Fusion Strike Energies on one on each of these, and then they're kind of ready to go for the rest of the game. So we... Okay. There's the heads. That's cool. So Parallel definitely going to be... Well, Parallel and Chaotic Swell, both really good stadiums in this particular matchup. So we're definitely going to be looking for our, our stadiums here. Um, at the very least, though, like I said, we can use Field Blower to get rid of both of these. Okay, and Smart there attacking uh, with the one with only one energy, just in case they do get their stadium bump. They do have another Meloetta already ready to go. Okay, so they are going to get turn one, uh, 240 damage knockout on our Crobat V, which is, <sighs> feels bad, but we can get the return KO pretty easily as well. Not too worried about that. Okay, Ditto, definitely a good card to top deck. So we'll do this. And we'll just go for the research so we can toss away Gyarados in the process. We do have to lose another Verse Seeker, which feels kind of bad, but is what it is. Okay, we have plenty of compressors, that's for sure. Uh, so we'll just do this. And what else do we want to toss at this point? Uh, probably Ultra Ball. Well. Yeah, I think we, we can get rid of Ultra Ball. That's fine. Uh, maybe teammates at this point. Which I don't hate. Maybe Leon. Or actually Guzma. Hmm. So we'll get rid of... Probably get her Leon now. Band... And what else do we really care about at this point? I don't know what we need out of our prizes. So I might leave Town Map for the moment. Uh, and I think I'm kind of cool with that. I kind of like the rest of the cards that we have access to. Maybe, maybe Net. Yeah, I think we can get rid of Net here as well. So we are thinning like crazy over here. Um... I'm kind of tempted to save the compressor in case we hit Versus Seeker off this. So, yeah, I think for the moment we're cool just to take the KO here. Okay, Quick Ball, don't care about that. So, we're definitely going to have to Guzma, I think, twice to eventually win this one. Okay, there's going to be Meloetta. So that makes me think they're going to either Guzma or they have Energy plus D-Valley already in hand, ready to go. Okay, getting Meloetta back makes sense. Another Elisa Sparkle. Okay, and just one Fusion Strike Energy. The other one is in discard, right? Oh, no, it's not. So I guess they prized one of their Fusion Strike Energies. And they're down two Special Charge, so if we can ever knock out this guy, that would actually be pretty good for us, probably. Okay, D-Valley yet again. Okay, and they have the fourth Fusion Strike Energy in hand. Okay, so let's see what we can get here. Parallel, no, parallel's good. Um, the issue is that they could get rid of two Genesects, which I don't want, actually. So I kind of wish we could almost save Parallel till after we dead a change, but I don't think we're quite that lucky. Okay, so before we do anything else, I think we're going to Quick Ball. Garrett Magikarp here. Good for Ditto. 
Uh, let's see if we get off Trainer's Mail. Or, well, I think we just fully commit to never using the Denny this game. So, for that reason, we'll do this. Grab another ditto. Just trying to thin as much as possible for this Trainer's Mail. Okay, there's Versus Seeker. But I would, truth be told, I would have... Well, so maybe we should have mailed first to see if we hit the first Seeker. Then we should have compressored for the Guzma. Oh, no, we still need energy either way. So it's kind of a moot point. Oh, no, Guzma's in my discard already. What, what am I thinking here? Um, So I think we'll just do this. And I'm not going to parallel. It doesn't really make too much sense at this point. Uh, I want to keep the Genesex in play. So I'll just research. Um, Do we instruct for one first? I'll say no. I don't want to hit another Verse Seeker or something like that. Okay, and we do hit Special Energy, so that's good. We get Chaotic Swell, and that's also solid. So... Sure, why not? Okay, so next turn, we absolutely can go for Guzma. So uh, we have one Verse Seeker left to Guzma with, and we have our um, Dowsing Machine. So that's our path to victory here. We still have a good bit of cards left in deck, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to dig to hit that exactly, but uh, that's our win condition. We have to hit Guzma the next two turns if we want any shot at winning here. Okay, there's D Valley. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much at this point. Okay, power tablets, that's cool. Like, I don't think there's anything our opponent can do that would influence what we want to do on our turns. It's basically, do we hit, hit Guzma and Energy for two turns back to back? That's literally just what the game comes down to. Now, here's a question. They they could be out of Pokemon. They've used one structure. They might have another. We have not seen their A spec either. So, I think more likely, we're not going to be able to just knock out two Meloettas and win. I think they're going to have attackers still. Okay, so that's actually good. We need the energy for both turns. So, let's go ahead. Hisui and Heavy Ball, just to thin. That's cool. Um, quick ball, we get rid of probably N. N doesn't really do anything for us because they can just refill their hand no matter what. Uh, and as you can see, we have that dowsing machine in there. We are definitely going to be looking for that. Okay, and let me just double check. But yes, we do have plenty of Pokemon. We can knock out Genesect V. So we can draw one extra card here with Instruct. Hopefully it's Dowsing. That'd be great. Uh, Scape Rip, that is not going to be what we need, but we can still burn it next turn to play down our hand for the uh, for the Instruct. So we'll just go for the Raging Fin, and hopefully we hit some Ball Search cards, because we just need to lower our hand size to be able to hit this, this Dowsing. Not what we want. Okay, so we do get Quick Ball, at least. That is going to allow us to get our hand size down. But I'm just really worried we're going to be stuck with a supporter no matter what here. Uh, now we... I think we have a Trainer's Mail left. Yes, we actually can hit Trainer's Mail, which can get us four cards deeper, which might help us hit what we need. So there's going to be Dowsing Machine. What are they trying to get here? Stretcher. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much for them at this point. It just comes down to what we have more than what they have. But they might just want to go for Genesec just to draw. I don't know. Okay, another Genesec, that's great, fine. Don't matter to me. So they can play all these cards all they want, but it really just comes down to what we have. As far as I can tell, I can't think of anything they could play that would really mess us up here. 
Okay, there's the Melodious Echo. Don't care about that. So hopefully we top deck a burnable card or another ball search card, but I think we're out of ball search cards. Ugh, that's not a good top deck at all. Did we just lose? I think we do, right? Or, well, no, we can draw what, one? Is that right? Um, Are we lucky enough to rip the dowsing machine off this one card though? So yeah, we'll do this. Uh, double colorless down here. We just have to play as if we're gonna hit it. I'm sure, we'll get rid of research. Okay, we have we have three trainers mail as well, so we have actually okay odds. We have a 50-50 shot at hitting um, at hitting one of our outs. So okay, instruct for one, guys. Can we get there? <sighs> and we whiff. Feels bad. If only we had hit the Ultra Ball off our prizes instead. We could have had one more card. So, they got this one, unfortunately. The the turn one Crobat knockout, in addition to us not getting to boss more than once, that, yeah, uh, we can't come back from that, though. So, unfortunately, going to take the L to the Metal deck, but I have to say I've beaten this deck multiple times on the ladder with the Magikarp deck. Just that game, you know, just a couple of unfortunate things happen for us. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for our expanded Magikarp deck today. As you can tell, I think this version is a good bit more aggressive and stronger than the standard format version. And almost kind of reminds me of the way Mad Party functions in expanded, but I, I almost wanna say I might like this more since very rarely do you need to hit above that 280 damage cap in expanded. And both decks kind of do the same thing, but the Magikarp deck gives you a few more extra deck spaces. So if you liked Mad Party in the past or even going back further to Night March, this might be your next favorite deck to mess around with in the expanded format. But that's gonna do it for today. If you guys did enjoy today's content, remember to leave a like on the video. And if you wanna take that support to the next level, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or pick up some merch at rarecandytcg.com. Links to those will be down below in the description. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.